I really enjoy the aspect of quantum finance because it fuses mathematics from the physical sciences in a commercial setting. It lies on an intersection of three disciplines, mathematics, finance and programming. And I'm kind of interested in all of, all of them at the same time. Does this thing really exist? Yes, it, it exists. It's called quantitative finance. I wanted to do something which involved maths and coding and finance and UTS has just that exact combination. So we're very proud of our Master of Quantitative Finance because it's actually quite distinct from a lot of degrees. All the subjects in our main Master of Quantitative Finance curriculum are taught only to students in that degree. We can actually use the mathematics at an appropriate level of sophistications rather than you know catering to a much broader class of students which perhaps don't have all the preparation that is necessary. The subjects were very relevant to what the industry looks for in a quant, particularly in model validation, model development, pricing libraries. The languages which UTS teaches in terms of C++, VBA, Excel, those are exactly what the industry is asking. The Master of Quantitative Finance is now nearly 20 years old, but uh, that doesn't mean that we're still teaching the same subjects in the same way that we were teaching 20 years ago. One of the important changes that came in were the various uh, valuation adjustments, the so-called XVAs that were introduced in the industry. They are now covered in the subject. More recently, of course, machine learning, neural networks and the like have become very important tools in many areas of application and we are applying machine learning techniques to quantitative finance problems in this degree. The preparation that UTS gave us in terms of the industry requirements was just awesome. They provided notes, they gave us a lot of guidance during class, the assignments were really useful. The quality of teaching at UTS is very high. Being associated with the Quant Finance Research Centre as well meant that we had dedicated professors that really knew their subject matter and were really approachable. You really get dedicated time with tutors and your professors and that helps with growing and learning. Traditionally you'd expect them to become quant analysts in a bank but uh, the areas of potential careers are actually much broader than that. We've had people go to fund managers including hedge funds, work for the bank regulator or also for large corporates. I love mathematics so much. I just want to use it more and more and, uh, and apply it. It's a rewarding career. You're in markets, you're dealing with big deals um, and big transactions. The Australian Financial Review's Boss magazine did a ranking in various business disciplines and in quantitative finance our university UTS was ranked first in Australia and second in the world. It's heaven for someone who loves maths and coding and finance and someone who wants to become a quant, this is the place to be. For me it was totally worth it. My life became more interesting. I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't applied myself for the quantitative finance master's degree.